Hi, I am Hussain. I'm Senior Transport Modeler at BTV Group. Today, I'm going to show you how to create virgin comparisons in PTV Visum. I will start with two networks. I have on the right side the forecast network in 2040, and on the left side, I have the base network, which is 2022. The difference between these two networks is that this road here has been downgraded as we can see here, and we have a new connection that goes at this location, which does not exist in the base version. We can also see that this location has been upgraded. The number of lanes and the capacities has been changed compared to the previous one, and we do have a full motorway going on near compared to signalized junctions being coded on this network. I will switch to the um, base scenario and create a virgin comparison. I can compare on the base scenario network or on the forecast scenario network. These two options are possible. In this example, I would compare it based on the base year scenario. To do that, I will go to File, Compare and Transfer Networks, and create model comparison or regular comparison. First thing I need to do here is add my page and file that I want to compare. I need to specify the location of the virgin file by clicking on the three dots here. I will choose the 2040 virgin file and I will give it a code of 2040. I will use this code later on to differentiate the base scenario from the forecast scenario. I will see it with OK. And here I get the list where I need to specify which attribute I want to compare. The default selection compares most of the network uh, attributes. For example, matrices has been switched off but also I can activate it by clicking on the box here. I can choose from the attribute group selection if I am interested in comparing, for example, a PRT network output or input and different at other attributes. The main thing I'm interested in comparing is the volume for private and public transport, which are stored on links. So I can go to links and allocate the volume attributes and check if they are activated. They are ticked, so I can proceed with OK, and Bzoom will load this virgin file in the background, as I can see here, and it will compare these attributes. Now, I can now close this window and switch to my graphical parameter layer, which compares the volume. In this graphical presentation, I can see that the volume on this location has been decreased in comparison to the future scenario, and the volume at this location has been increased. Now we will be connecting a new link between these two points. It can be a bridge that connects this point to the second point, and then we will be uh, running the same steps as in this version. So now, to do that, I will repeat the steps while version comparison, and here I need to add the base scenario. I can give it a call code of base, proceed with OK, another OK, and it will load the virgin file as shown earlier. I can close this window and try to use the same graphical parameters, but now we may need to change our attributes from our graphical parameter. So I will go to the graphics of the links as we did before right click on this icon, go to bars, display, 
and choose the attribute again because we recalculated the net so volume PRT from here and I would calculate the network minus the base network. I can also navigate through the list and calculate the percentage, the minimum, the maximum, or even the value from the base version. But now I will use this network minus the base car volume and proceed with OK. And now we can see on the network editor the calculated difference. In this case, we can see that the bridge here is carrying more volume. So it is a positive increase in comparison to the other corridor where it's a negative increase. We can zoom in and look at the volume uh, specifications on each of these links. So for example, if we select this link, we can add from the attribute selection the current volume on the network the volume from the base network and the difference. So here we will add the volume from this network, the base volume, and also the network minus the base. We can confirm with OK and look at the exact values on this link. And we can see that there is a, um, a decrease in volume because we have a negative sign. This is possible to do on a list level or even in the network editor by clicking on any of the links where the value will be automatically I can changed. Compare, I can compare different network objects as I showed in the previous steps. In case the version file that we are comparing to has changed, we can go easily and update that version file from the same location. File, compare and transfer networks, version comparison. And we can click on the loaded version and go to update. And here we can choose a different version file or use the same version file in case we did some changes to it. Proceed with OK and Bizum will refresh the scenario. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our PTV Mobility channel. If you have any questions, please add them to our comment section below. You can join us on our global community on LinkedIn, on the PTV Vissel Forum, and the link below. Thank you, and see you on the next episode.